Hello there classmates! This is your classmate Jopet and for today, I will be teaching you how to do completing the square when A is greater than 1. Now, if you are new to this channel, click the subscribe and hit the notification bell for all our updates in the lessons in mathematics. So let's get started! So here we have is an example 2x squared plus 8x minus 24 equal to 0. Now, for you to be able to solve this using completing the square, we are going to follow step-by-step -step process so that you can easily solve this problem. First things first, check if your quadratic equation is in the standard form. And as you can see, our example is already in the standard form. What we are going to do now is to make our quadratic term equal to 1. And how are we going to do that? By dividing all the sides by positive 2. So if you divide 2 divided by 2, the answer is 1 or simply x squared. Now, if you divide positive 8 by 2, the answer is plus 4 x. And if you are going to divide negative 24 by 2, the answer is negative 12, then copy 0. So that is your first step. The second step now is to transfer your constant term to the right side of the equation. So we will have x squared plus 4x and this will be equal to positive 12. The third step is to identify the value of our b. And as you can see, our b is equal to 4. And step number 4 is we will get the half of the value of our letter B. In that case, 4 will be divided by 2. And the answer to that is 2. Step number 5 is we are going to square the value in our step number 4. So, in this case, we have 2 squared that's 2 multiplied to 2. The answer is 4. Now, our step number 6 is we are going to insert our answer in step number 5 in our equation in step number 2. So, we will copy step number 2 first, the equation. And we will add our value in step number 5 to the left and right side of our equation. So that will be plus 4, then you copy 12, and you add 4 on the left side as well. Now, step number 7 is we are now going to rewrite our equation. And as you can see, if you are going to factor x squared plus 4x plus 4, it will just be parenthesis of x plus 2 quantity squared. And this will become 12 plus 4 will be equal to 16. Now, step number 8 is we are going to get the square root of our equation. So this is our final equation. 
and we are going to get the square root of each side. So this will also be square root of 16. Next is to write our new equation that will be x plus 2. Then remember, a square root of a number is a positive and a negative number. So we will have a positive 4 and we will write again x plus 2 will, this will also be equal to negative 4. So this is now our step number 9. So our last step is to find the value of our letter x. So we have x plus 2 equals to 4. So that will be x plus 2 equal to 4. And we group all similar terms. So our 2 will be transferred to the left side. So that will be x equal to 4. Then since it is a positive, when you transfer it, it will become negative or simply that's 4 minus 2 our x is just equal to positive 2 so that is our first value for our letter x the second one is what if it is now a negative 4 so what is our second value of x so therefore we have x equal to negative 4 minus 2. So since both of them are negative, we simply add the number. So that's 4 plus 2. That's 6. And copy the sign. So the answer is negative 6. So the answer for our 2x squared plus 8x minus 24 is just equal to positive 2 and negative 6. Now let us have our next example. We have 3y squared minus 6y minus 12 equal to 0. So as you can see, it is already in the standard form. The first thing we are going to do is to make our quadratic term equal to 1. And since the number beside it is 3, we are going to divide all the sides by 3. So we have 3 divided by 3, that will become 1, or simply that's y squared. Next, negative 6 divided by 3, that will be minus 2, then copy the letter y. Next is negative 12 divided by 3, that is negative 4, and simply copy 0. So this is now your new quadratic equation. After that, our step 2 tells us that we are going to move the constant to the left side of the equation. So it will become y squared minus 2y and this will become a positive 4 and same thing we did earlier we are going to get or identify first the value of our letter B our B is a negative 2 and next step is we are going to Divide negative 2 by getting its half. That's negative 2 divided by 2. The answer is a negative 1. Step number 5, we are going to square our step number 4. So therefore, that's a negative 1 squared. It will become 1 times 1 or a negative 1 times negative 1. That's a positive 1. 
Step number six, we are going to insert the value in our step number five in our step number two. So copy step number two equation, then add the value of step number five, so that's positive one, equal to four plus one. Next is we are going now to simplify our equation. So we have y squared minus 2y plus 1. So if you are going to simplify this, you are going to get the square root of 1. So that square root of 1 is just 1. Therefore, y, since this is a negative, so it will become a negative, then copy 1 and raised to the power of 2. Next is add 4 plus 1. So obviously that is 5. Next, step number 8 is to square root both sides of the equation. So you have square root of quantity y minus 1 raised to the power of 2 and square root of so step number nine is to simplify our equation in step number eight. So removing the radical symbol and the exponent two, we'll have y minus one. And take note, since five is not a perfect square, we simply copy the square root of five. But, take note, it is not only positive square root of 5, because you will also get a negative square root of 5. But, be careful in writing the negative symbol. The negative should be outside the radical symbol, not inside. And lastly, we are going to write our answer. So therefore, y minus 1 equal to the square root of a positive 5. So transferring the negative 1 on the left side, your first answer will be 1. It will become a positive, then plus square root of so that is now your first answer. Your next answer will be y minus 1 equal to the negative square root of 5. So therefore, y is equal to 1. Then copy minus square root of 5. So these are now your answer for your example number so now, we already solved two examples. Now, as practice, I want you also to solve the following four examples using our step-by-step -step process on how to do completing the square when A is greater than 1. So, thank you very much for watching our video. Again, don't forget to click the subscribe and hit the bell button for all our updates in our lessons in mathematics. Until next time, peace!